Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Today we're going to be looking at the first half of our exploration of the Edit PDF tool. So, as you might suspect, the Edit PDF tool allows you to edit PDFs just like you would be able to edit a Word document in Microsoft Word. But, in my opinion, it's quite a bit better than Word. So, you click on the tool, then you get to edit text and images in a PDF file, and then you select the file. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here is our sample document for the day. We have all these options at the very top. So first we have the edit tool. This allows us to edit any text that is in the PDF. So as you might suspect, you can click into any text box. We can put in whatever we would like. And then the Add Text button allows us to add in additional text boxes. And notice that the font is preserved from this document. This document was brought over from Word, and we're using Arial font. And so Acrobat will remain consistent with that. So this is a text box that I added. Up here, you can add an image if you'd like. Cool. <laughs> so we can just add an image just like that. And then we have the link option. So we can, we have some several options over here. So we can add, edit a web or a document link. So we just click and drag an area that we can click into. So as you can see, this is an invisible triangle. We can also make it a visible one if we'd like. We're going to keep it invisible for now. So we have our area. So the, the top box is dealing with the area, like what is it going to look like? But the second half of the box is what happens once we click into that area. So in our case, so we can go to a page view, essentially treating it like a bookmark. We can go open a new file, or we can open a web page, which is what we're going to do right here. And in my experience, as before, when we were creating a PDF from a web page, Bing.com looks pretty good. So we're just going to save that close and then notice that when we mouse over that area we designated our cursor changes so just do that and boom Bing opens up immediately from the PDF okay additionally if we have URLs within the document we can we can have Acrobat scan the document for any URLs and it'll automatically generate links within the document based on those URLs so let's let's see that in action so if we had Hmm. Up here, let's say. Oh my, it's white. <laughs> How about over here? There we go. Some actual black text. www.bing.com. Okay, so we have our non-linked, non-URL URL essentially. Clicking on this would do absolutely nothing, but we can auto-create web links from URLs. So action cannot be undone. Would you like to proceed? Sure. Yep. Uh, that's bizarre. Let's try that again. There we go. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time, but anyway. Let's try that now. Oh, it did it for the old one. Interesting. So there it is working just like that. Now we have the option to remove web links. So we can go down here, remove the web links. And so it'll go through all the hyperlinks and it'll get rid of them all. So, and finally, we could append, oh yes, yeah, so we append all the links on the page. So any of the links in the document will automatically be converted to PDF and then appended at the very end of the document. This is useful if you have a bibliography. So like the last slide of a PowerPoint, you have all your URLs, your hyperlinks, and you want to append all those web pages to the end of the PowerPoint, you can do that. And of course, at the very bottom, we can view the web links that are in the document. 
And then finally, we have the Crop Pages tool. So this allows you to click and drag into an area like this. And then double-clicking into this area will allow you to set the bounds. So note, we're now we're dealing with the crop box. So this is what we're going to be cropping, which is, it has, these margins are auto-populated based on uh, the area that we've clicked and dragged. So this is all already set up. So once we click OK, it'll immediately zoom in like that. So we double-click again to get rid of it. If we want to go back to our original size document, we just mic all these margins zero. And so we're back to our 8.5 by 11 page. So that about does it for the basic tools of our edit tool. Next time, we're going to be looking at the more obscure, more complex functionality of the edit PDF tool. Until then, my name is David Wilmer. Thanks so much for listening, folks. Take care.